All right, so I'm here with Fernando and Son. Yes, sir. How are we doing? How I know your older brother is also a fighter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, he's about to go pro soon. Um, it's, it's, it's the Vargas legacy. Yes, sir. Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. I think I got some masculine energy going on. <laughs> no, nah, uh, too much testosterone going on. I just finished sparring. But um, uh, it's, it's, it's the legacy continues, you know. Uh, it's Vargas boxing. And uh, we're, bringing the, we're bringing that flavor back into, uh, into the pros. So uh, 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 we come from a pedigree of uh, world championship blood. And the same uh, blood that runs through his veins runs through me and my brother's veins. So. Uh, hey, we're para rato. Yes, sir. In Spanish. You yes, ma'am. You know what that means? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're gonna tell me. It means there's Vargas for more, for more time. There's like, there's enough Vargas for more time. There's like, the Vargas is not gonna run out. There's gonna be more Vargas. There's gonna be for more time. And nothing's for us. Nothing's for us. We do it for the love of the sport. Um, my, my, I was the chubby kid, you know. I just like to eat, you know, and. Uh, I just fell in love with the sport. Uh, what can I say? I like punching people. I know it's in your family and it's your tradition, but what is unique to you in your fighting? What do you see for your career? Um, I mean, uh, 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 my dad left a legacy for us, you know, and uh, uh, I just I just want to be the best fighter I could be. And uh, I mean, uh, 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 I'm a student of the game, and um, I want to be the best that I can be. So. And for you, how does it feel to see your offspring just out here killing it? Like, that's got to be such a rewarding feeling and being able to work with him and just build that bond with him. Like, how does that make you feel? Well, when I didn't have a father, so I'm living my life through my kids' eyes. I tell my kids that all the time, but I'm vicariously living through them. It's like when, when I, I, tell, I tell the story a lot to him. When, he, when his first national title, when he was like in the finals, I was giving him the instructions and every word that was coming out of my mouth, he was holding on to like, like every every single instruction that was coming out of my mouth, he, w he was holding on to and he was like, okay dad, okay dad. And it's like, and to me it's like, it felt so good because I put myself in his position like if my dad would have been doing that. But you know, I didn't have, I wasn't fortunate of that. I didn't have that. And so, you know, my dad, uh, was a drug addict. He died a drug addict. A uh, person that spent most of his life in jail. But, you know, to me, you know, my kids are my life. You know, I do, I do anything and everything for them. So, basically, that's what it is. I'm blessed, I'm blessed to have the father I have, not only as a coach, but uh, as a father as well. Um, everywhere I want to get to, everywhere I'm dreaming to go, my father has been. The highest amateur boxing, the highest of uh, 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 of professional boxing and uh, all we're gonna do me and my three brothers uh, 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 we're just gonna continue to stay focused stay in the gym and, and listen to every word that this man says so uh, because I know he, he, he only wants the best for me and uh, that's it and I know you also have a nonprofit organization so I know you're probably the father figure for a lot of those kids coming through there would you like to speak on that a little bit or what you've seen from the kids that are coming into the gym and how boxing has transformed their lives the Fernando Vargas Fighting Foundation, 501c3, is located at 3240 Civic Center Drive, Suite B, Los Vargas, Nevada, 89030. Um, basically, we're in the hood. There's rapes, there's murders, just across the, crossing the street. And so, it's a safe haven for a lot of kids that are knuckleheads, were knuckleheads like, I was a knucklehead, maybe I'm still a knucklehead. But the thing is that we're giving inner city kids a fighting chance. So I'm a 501c3. Um, you know, it's open to the public, and uh, you know, we have tutors, people that um, veterans that tutor their, their, their veterans that donate their time as tutors to help the kids during the week with their with their homework. So not just are you learning how to fight and. Um, you know, use the, the tools that are needed for you to learn how to fight, but also the, you get the, the tools of, of, a, of, a, of a teacher to help you with your schooling. You know what I really love about, about you? You're both your son, and you, and you is that either you have like a death grip on it, or they really, really like it. Like all they hate it. Hey, we got, we got a close bond, you know, a day in and day out in the gym at the house, uh, 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 I can't get rid of this guy, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> Much respect. You can feel the bond. I was personally raised by my dad. Everything I know is just nuggets that he kept installing into my brain. So I really have a lot of respect for your guys' relationship. You can feel it, honestly. So hats off to you. Wait, let, let's put him on the spot real quick. Which one of your sons is the better prospect? <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Uh, we're not the fastest side though. We're not the fastest. Let me tell you this. I don't want to... Look. And I'll tell you why. Emiliano Fernando Vargas, El General, also known as El General, he is the future of boxing because why? He lives it 24-7. He, he goes to bed thinking about boxing. He wakes up thinking about boxing. He, he runs in the morning before going to school. He does a lot of the stuff that I my other kids. I don't need. Need a, I don't need to tell my kids. <laughs> you know. Junior, when we did the interview a couple of weeks ago. Hey, 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 That's all know. three of us, baby. Hey, hey, but, you know. but he he needs to take notes on his discipline because I, I'm telling my kids, what are you celebrating? What are you partying? You 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 are you're, you're not world champion. You got no millions in the bank. So what, so what are you doing? You know, hanging out and partying. Hey, you know, stay focused. Learn from this guy. Mm -hmm. He was my chubby boy. He was my big boy. No, he's and I still like to eat, but just after fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I just love Just after fights. Yeah, we love to eat. We love to eat. We love to eat. It's a Vargas thing. But you know, hey, he stays focused. And that's why he's a seven-time national champion. He's number one in the United States. He moves up in weight, and anybody's getting worried. Anybody's getting worried. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, you know, he, he, he was at 119. Now he's going to move up to 125. And he's going to win a national title. He went to 125. He went back down to 119. Just because he says, hey, Dad, I can do it. Let me just do it. And he won another national title. And so now he's going to go back to 125 and then whoop him again. When he's done with his career, is he going to be Michael Jordan Jr. or Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be... Looking Floyd back Mayweather Jr. You, okay. He's going to be... Well, well, I think that both of them are amazing athletes and no, Michael Jordan Jr. mean the son junior. didn't live up to the dad you know Michael Jordan had a kid I think his name was Michael Jr. but you know he didn't live up obviously he didn't Oh, uh, he's gonna certain. No, he's gonna be Floyd Mayweather Jr. So he's the thing is, he's gonna, he's gonna be better than me. The thing is, all I gotta do he's is listen to my father. Yeah. That's he's it. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna be better than me. And then, because you know, hey, he stays hungry. He stays teachable. He listens to what I tell him to do. His proof is in the pudding. Seven-time national champion, number one in the United States from number from 95, 100, 106, 112, one, no, skip one, 119, 125, 130. It don't matter. <laughs> where, 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 where he's at, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna dominate. That's just him. I wonder what school is like for you. Are you like the popular kid? Just a little uh, curious about that. Going uh, from being chubby to being like this just badass. This, uh, this I mean, <laughs> 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 um, I mean, I just. I keep to myself, you know. Um, Humble kid. I, yeah. Just don't um, mess with him. Just don't mess with me, baby. Yeah. You know? Hey. Did your dad ever cook up uh, pig assholes for you? I don't know about that one. Uh, no, nah, no, I don't know about that one. That's a Muslim thing, bro. <laughs> we stick yeah. to the uh, frijoles and, and, and beans yeah. and, and rice. We, That's we, it. We eat anything. We eat pig, chicharrones. I eat, I eat pigs all day. So you good cook? Oh. No, I don't cook. Uh, my grandpa and my mom do all the cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Out, he can eat that way he can eat. So yeah. That's the only reason, <laughs> yeah, I, the only reason I work out is so I can eat. I still got abs. Hey, don't do that to a pot. Flex it. Yeah. Flex it. Hey, come on. Come on. I'm always That's down for a plate of frijoles, though. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we got two weeks into the national championships. Uh, 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 hopefully, uh, with God first, uh, we get the victory and uh, we become an eight-time eight national champion and on Team USA. So. Uh, feeling sharp and sparring, and uh, we're good to go. You know. He's gonna be ready for the 2020 what? Four. 2024 Olympics. Yes, sir. Watch. He's gonna win. He's gonna win the gold medal. I went to the Olympics. We got jobs for with that stupid computer scoring system that they they barely Im, Im, uh, implicated in it. So now now you're gonna see. Let me ask one more question to you, Fernando. What, how does your Olympic team stand up to the, like, the 88 team? Oh, man. Look, come on. 88 team. 96. 84. 96. Now, 84 is for, for, you know, bro. Hey, but we had a great champions, too. Yep. Um, the, the TBE, Floyd Mayweather Jr., 1996 Olympian. He got jobbed with a stupid computer scoring. And David Reed, David Diaz, Antonio Tarver, uh, Lawrence Claybay, 
Come on, man. How many champions there you got there? Get on that team. That's what I want. Oh. Number one on 132. Number one on 139. Number one on 147. It's a pedigree. It doesn't matter where, where, where I moved up at. Youngest national champion in boxing history, 16 years of age. Um, uh, I, well, my record can never be broken because uh, uh, they were stopping kids at, at 16, so they changed it to 17. So that's like that's like me fighting 40 year olds. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Exactly. And, and and I come I come from a pedigree, you that's know. Right. And and all we're gonna continue to do is stay focused and show out. Let's go. <laughs> Winners. Yes. Period. Yes, ma'am. Period. Yes, ma <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. uh, Emiliano Fernando Vargas. No, uh, no, uh, Emiliano F. F. Vargas. Vargas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>